Hello, Aquarius. This is you versus them for the 7 through the 13. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> this is a general. All right. So this reading will not resonate for everyone. But if you are interested in a personal reading, that information, the website address is down below the video. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Please don't forget to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. All right, here we go, Aquarius. Um, there's somebody that um, I feel like wants to express their feelings towards you. Okay, they see that you are trying to move on. They see that you are trying to leave a situation behind. Okay, it could be a situation involving this individual, this water sign, or it could be um involving someone else like that you're trying to leave behind and this person is is wanting to maybe pursue you okay let's see what's going on with the person that you're thinking about missing you i feel i feel like they're trying hard not to though okay yeah they're they're trying to you know ignore how they feel but I feel like it's undeniable for them. They're trying so hard here with the Knight of Wands to actively, you know, leave this behind, to move away from this feeling. Okay. Cancer energy, Sagittarius as well. At the same time, I feel like, you know, this person is probably... You know, seeing you trying to move away, seeing you trying to move on, um, but not really wanting to let go, but also not really acknowledging how they truly feel inside either. It's like, you know, contradictory um, energy here. All right, guys, let's see what you want. Hmm. I feel like you're just wanting to recuperate. Like you just you just want to remove yourself from anything that, you know, is jolting, anything that, you know, requires you to actively participate. It's like you're trying to avoid confrontation, I feel. So what you're actually doing is probably shutting down, closing yourself off because you've been hurt here, okay? And so you're just really not trying to deal with that type of energy, I feel, right now. Let's see what the other person wants. Knight of Cups and the Six of Wands. I just get the feeling that this person is is really trying to mask how they're feeling. And so they're just kind of out there doing their own thing, trying to, um, trying to get attention, I feel. This person feels very flaky to me. Very flighty to me. Somebody that seeks attention. Somebody that's very flirtatious. Um very charming here there's leo energy here okay strong water sign energy present as well um scorpio cancer very flighty energy somebody that is like you know they really seek out attention that's what you know builds up their self-esteem makes them feel good okay let's see what you guys need I think you guys need to walk away from any deceptive energy, okay? It's not serving you. I think you need to seek, um, seek out other things that are more suitable for you. Do not waste your time 
on this type of energy where somebody is trying to get away with something, being deceptive, um, possibly lying to you, acting very aloof, not really involving their feelings like here, trying to, you know, oh, I don't care, that kind of energy. I'll just go somewhere else or whatever. Um, just avoid that energy. Okay. And I see you doing that here with the four of swords. Like you're, you're kind of wanting to shut down and you should, I mean, as far as this energy is concerned, this energy is concerned, you know, yeah, you do need to like pull yourself back from that. I feel, um, that would be my advice. I don't want to say, you know, try to tell people what to do, but I see like the energy that is present here and um, there is a need for you to, you know, not involve yourself, especially if you feel like, you know, they're bringing, they're bringing some nonsense to your door and could possibly, you know, have you feeling worse than you're already feeling, you know, moving, moving away from that type of energy for sure. And keep in mind, guys, this energy can go vice versa. Okay. Aquarius, this could be you on this side, and this could be the person that you're dealing with. Let's see what the other person needs. Huh. I get the feeling you're dealing with somebody that is like a Cancer Leo kind of um, individual. I feel... Um, but they are basically an individual that's like, whoa, me. Um, everything is somebody else's fault is what I'm getting. Very defensive. Um, a lot of times when people are, this energy right here makes me feel like, you know, this person does not want anything that contradicts their ego, how they feel about themselves. So any slight is like detrimental to their character for them. Okay. So that is the energy that's here. So I feel like what their need is, is to recognize that um, there is a love that you guys still share. But... I don't think you're willing to involve yourself with this energy of somebody trying to get away with something because the sevens are like, you know, um, what do you call it? Self-serving. Um, there, It's like a self-serving type of energy here. Okay. This is all about self. So that's why I was saying it's like, well, me is to recognize other people that all is not lost here and that they are not the only ones that are affected or. Well, yeah, that they're not the only ones that are affected, but also that they may be possibly doing something that's contributing to them feeling this way. So this is to recognize their own, um, their own shortcomings here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if someone else is involved here. Hmm. I think what you're actually doing is probably um, you're in this mode. I don't think anyone else is involved, but I think you're in this mode where you are um, thinking about things from the past, thinking about things that you guys shared. Um, you're, you're thinking about a lot of the a lot of the um, the good memories between you guys. I feel the good things, the good times that you shared even. Um, but I feel like you guys are going to be in a cycle with this person, with this type of energy, because you do feel this very strong connection with this person. 
even though they bring you a lot of grief, I feel. There's a very strong connection and I feel like you guys truly are going in a cycle and you have been with this person. And, um, but take heed that there is a need for you if this person is bringing this energy towards you, which we see here, then be mindful of what you actually are going into, what you are involving yourself in, okay? So just be mindful of that energy. Let me move this up some. And let's see if someone else is involved for them. I feel like this person over here, I feel like this is yes. When, when I ask a question if someone else is involved or if you guys are going to be together possibly, when I get the Ace of Swords, it's a sort of truth. It's also like a yes for me. So I feel like there is somebody that this person, not necessarily that they are in a committed relationship with, but there is someone else that they have on their mind that they're waiting on, that um, they have possibly, um, you know, planted seeds with, they have, um, you know, extended to before, or they could have been involved with this person before, possibly a Taurus energy or an air sign. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, that they are probably somebody that usually comes back to them or they go back to the other person, but there's somebody that, um, I feel like they are, um, waiting on here. Okay, very flighty energy. Somebody that feels like they can get the attention whenever they feel like it. Very charming, very flirtatious. Um, so it may not be one person in particular. It could be, you know, a harem of people that they have contact with possibly. Okay, but mainly, um, you know, air and earth energy, I feel. Okay, so let's see if this is likely that you guys will come back together. Hmm. I definitely feel that you guys will come back together because although this is an Aquarius card. Although you guys are not together and this person's very flighty, they still look at you as if you are um, the one when they're ready. That is a thing. But you see the emperor has his back turned. They feel like you are the one when they're ready to turn around and take advantage of the situation, you know, whenever they're ready. Okay, so just be mindful of that, okay? Um, let's pull a Romance Angels card to take you guys out of the reading to finish this out. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, and I definitely feel that. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Okay, because I see the struggle here, you know, within you. Because you're wanting to move on. Um, you're wanting peace. But at the same time, you know, you're you're drawn to this person because you feel this connection. Um, you, you probably have known this person for a while, or either you just feel this um this this very strong soulmate attraction like you've been with this person before, like you're supposed to be. Okay, so my Aquarius friends, that's what I have for you guys. Um, and I will talk with you soon. Bye now.